OK, I'm going to do a quick run through of the model cars I have on display in my house. This is a computer car for GT40. This one in the fireplace, you can't really call a model car, it's more of a tin plate ornament. But it's a caricature of a Morgan two-seater sports car. In the cubby hole area under the stairs, where I've got quite a lot of VHS cassettes still, um, I've got a Franklin Min 1953 Cadillac. There's a small tin plate VW Beetle, which uh, again is not a toy car, it's more of a collector's piece, but it's made to look like an old tin plate toy. And down here we have a uh, Franklin Mint VW Beetle. The computer desk in the spare room is home to a Lado Days Gone model Barton's bus, and Barton's was the local bus company to my area, which is the Nottingham area. Then there's a uh, Hong Kong Dinky Toys Chevrolet Corvair, uh, which is a fairly rare model, as far as I can understand it. A uh, recent Corgi Toys model of the Starship Enterprise, which isn't a toy car at all. Um, two Tonka Toys, uh, that I think is supposed to be a Ford Pinto, and that is a Ford Model A, I think that one's called Frantic Fliver. Both of those models are ones that I had when I was young, but these are not the actual ones, these are replacements. Then there's uh, a fairly recent Matchbox Citroen DS21, which is something that I saw in the shop and just fancied it. Then here are things that I've had out to look at and not yet put away. Uh, this is my collection of Hot Wheels cars. And most of these, or at least two-thirds of them, are my original ones. And then some of them are more recently bought. Most of these across the front that you're now looking at. Uh, not the, not the uh, Eldorado, that's one of my original ones. That one's quite tatty, that's not my original one, the Fleetwood. But that was bought from a toy fair years ago to replace one that I once had and don't have anymore. But I'm after a better example than that. And over here, another fairly recent purchase of something that I had when I was young. Um, that is a Dennis Fisher Rev Rods, uh, which should have like a pull strap, which uh, makes the central wheel flywheel drive it along the floor very fast. I don't have that, I've just bought it as an ornament. Very recently purchased from America is this Sizzlers, which is uh, a replacement for one that I had when I was younger. Um, there are two more that I'm still after. Along the bookshelf in the bedroom, there's a toy RAV4. And also over here, a toy Mini Cooper. These are quite common, really. Um, these were bought from Mevagissi in Cornwall about uh, eight years ago, just because I like them. Then we've got Corgi Vanguard's Hillman Avenger. Probably better known in the United States as a Plymouth Cricket. Corgi Vanguard's Mark III Cortina. Down here are older Corgi Vanguard's, but fairly recently bought for me. Um, Vauxhall Cresta PA. And lower down we have a VW Type 2 Miniboss from Cararama. And a little porcelain one that was uh, also bought for me to put in front of it. This is an exclusive first editions model of a Plaxton Panorama coach in Barton's livery. And this is a Barago Ferrari F40 from the late 80s. It's actually marked on the box 1987. I think I had the model in the early 1990s. In the windowsill, in the full glare of the sun, is a Jacobs Crackers van from the Lado. On top of the wardrobe, there's a Ford Corsair towing a caravan by Cararama. Here is another Corgi Classics Barton's bus. And here is a more modern Corgi bus in Nottingham City Coaches livery. Then there is a small Model T tanker with cocoa marked on it. I didn't know they sold cocoa in tankers. This is by Oxford Diecast. There are two more Corgi buses. This one's in Nottingham City Transport livery. 
and this one is a Bedford OB coach in Felix livery which was a local bus company to Ilkeston. Further down on the dressing table I've got this large scale Corgi John Player Special Lotus from about 1974. Then there's the first Franklin Mint that I bought, a Mercedes 500k Roadster, that's from about 1986 I think. Over here there's another small Tonka toy. In the background in the corner is a small scale minivan in bright green and I owned one of those uh, in 1980. I painted it that colour myself so it's really strange to find a model that colour. I painted the real van, that's what I mean. Here we've got a collection of Tough Tots lorries from Lone Star and a Mercedes racing car in front of it. On the upper shelf another lineup of Tough Tots from Lone Star. All of these are representations of ones that I had when I was a kid but uh, I lost them or broke them. Over in the background there is a key ring of Inspector Morse's Jaguar and then there is a Vauxhall Viva or Bedford HA van. Over here I've got a lineup of Corgi Vanguards. There's a Hillman Minx, a Morris Marina, Vauxhall Viva SL. In the background there, that isn't the Vanguard, that's uh, early 70s Polytoys Mangusta di Tommaso that used to belong to my uncle. Then there's a Vanguard Ford Granada. Another larger scale non Vanguard Polysteel Citroen 2CV. In the front there's a customised Vanguard Mark II Cortina. A slightly weathered transit van. Woolsey 1885, Ford Escort Mark 1, and then this isn't actually a Vanguard, but it's a Cararama Ford Capri. This display cabinet holds models that were mostly bought at toy fairs in the 1990s. This is a James Bond Aston Martin, and the James Bond Toyota 2000 GT with a reproduction box. Captain Scarlet's SPV, Spectrum Patrol car, Joe 90's car, Fab One from Thunderbirds, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang back there is actually my original one, this wasn't bought at Toy Fairs. All these vehicles and models I had when I was younger but these aren't the originals apart from Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The Batmobile and John Steed and Emma Peel in the Bentley and Lotus respectively. Lower down more dinky toys, BMW, Cadillac Eldorado, Mercedes long wheelbase, Rolls Royce Phantom 5, another Rolls Royce, Jaguar, Rolls Royce, Ford Zodiac police car at the back, Hillman Imp, Jensen Interceptor, that's a spot on Vauxhall Cresta, Dinky Mini Moak, Dinky Beechcraft Aeroplane and Concorde, that one is by Corgi. Moving further down, uh, Bedford Bus, this is Matchbox King Size Prime Mover with a Caterpillar Tractor, little Bedford TK Removals Lorry by Matchbox, Comma Camera Van by Corgi, Corgi Tractor, Dinky Forklift Truck, Corgi Simon Snorkel Fire Engine, that's a Chipperfield Circus Lorry, Dinky Route Master Boss, Dinky Ford Transit, and a Corgi Toys Breakdown Truck at the back. Moving right down, more Corgi Toys basically down here. VW, police car, beach buggy, that's another Politoy Citroen 2CV, Corgi Ford Cortina, Camaro, Renault 4, another Cortina, Mini Cooper, Ford Mustang drag car, Chevrolet Astro, Heinkel bubble car, that's a shark nose Ferrari Formula 1 car, there is a Polystyl Mini Cooper, 
that's a Britain's Canon. That's a Polysteel Suzuki 750GT and right at the front, a fairly recent edition, that is a Lone Star Rolls Royce.